For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do these two problems that say the chandelier is supported by three chains, these three chains, which are concurrent at point O. If the force in each chain has a magnitude of 60 pounds, express each force as a Cartesian vector and find the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force. Then uh, they want you to, with the same um, setup, they want you to, uh, they, they're giving you the resultant force and they want you to find the force of the chains. So first we're going to tackle the first problem. Now, you know that the force is 60 pounds. The first thing you got to do in this problem is always find the position vectors of each of the points that are involved in the problem. So point O sits at 0i plus 0j plus 6k. Point A, let's divide it into ax, ay and ac. ax is equal to 4 cosine of 30 because we know that the circumference, I mean, sorry, the radius of the circle is 4, so from here, here is 4, and we know that this angle is 120. So it means that this angle is 90, so this will be 30. So as you can see, the x uh, component from 0 is, this is 30 right here, so it's... Um, this length which is 4 cosine of 30 and it's going towards the positive x-axis the y is going to be negative 4 sine of 30 because the positive y is this way so the negative y is that way and we're finding this right here and the c is 0 because this is the x and y plane so this is 3.46 and this is negative 2. So this is 3.46i minus 2j plus 0k. Now let's do point B. Now B, you can do it all over again or you can just look at the symmetry. This is perfectly symmetric in the bottom except that these signs are different this go towards the negative x and it still goes towards the negative y so the y is going to remain the same so b is equal to negative 3.46 i in contrast of the positive right here it still goes to the negative y so it's negative 2j plus 0k because it still sits at the x and y plane now point c is equal to zero in the i it does it sits right at the um, y uh, line so it's zero on the x plus four j this length is four perfectly plus zero k because it still sits at the x and y plane so it's zero on the c axis so the first thing we're going to find is o a in other words from o to a right here from O to A, we know that is vector A minus vector O, which comes out to be 3.46i minus 2j minus 6k. Now we're going to find the magnitude of this vector, and you find the magnitude by doing the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. This is the x, this is the y, this is the c, this is the x, this is the y, and this is the c. Just plug these numbers into here, and you get that the magnitude is equal to 7.21. So this is the magnitude of OA. And now you're going to find that the univector OA is equal to the vector divided by the magnitude and when you do that you're gonna get that this unit vector is equal to 0.480i 
minus 0.277 J minus 0.832 K. Now that we have the unit vector that goes along A right here, you can find the Cartesian vector form of F of A. You know that the magnitude of F of A is the same as the magnitude of the three forces given right here is 60 pounds. So the Cartesian vector form can be found by multiplying the magnitude times the unit vector, which is equal to, so you're gonna multiply these three numbers by this magnitude, and you're gonna get that f of a is equal to 28.8i minus 16.62j minus 49.92k. Now, we can also find f of b by symmetry. If this is 28.8i towards the positive x-axis towards the i, this goes towards the b goes towards the negative, so it's going to be negative 28.8i. I'm writing it so they kind of line up, It'll be easier to understand. Now, they both go towards the negative y, which is this way, so this remains the same, 16.62j. And they both go towards a negative c, which means this is still 49.92k. So it's almost the same. The y is the same, the c is the same, just the x. One goes up and one goes down. So they're opposite signs. So we already got two of the three forces. Now we're going to find the same force, uh, the third force, which is fc, in the same manner as we found the first one. So first we're going to need vector oc, which is vector c minus vector o, which means that this comes out to be 0i plus 4j minus 6k. The magnitude of this vector comes out to be 7.21, found just like we did here, but with these values. And the unit vector OC can be found by doing the vector divided by its magnitude. These three values divided by this value. And the unit vector comes out to be 0i plus 0.555j minus 0.832k. Now that we have the unit vector, you just multiply by the force, which is the same magnitude for all three, 60 pounds. And the force can be found by multiplying the magnitude by the unit vector, OC, which comes out to be these three values multiplied by this magnitude. And it's zero in the I, of course plus 33.3j minus 49.92k. Now, here's force B. Here's force A. And here's force C. So here's force C. I'm gonna write force A and force B right here, actually let me write it right here, force A and force B to line them up. So force A is 28.8i minus 16.62j minus 49.92k and force uh, B is equal to negative 28.8i minus 16.62j minus 49.92k. You got to add them up to find the resultant force. And guess what? 28.8 minus 28.8 cancels out. 33.3 .3 minus 16.62 minus 16.62 cancels out roughly. And 49.92 
is just there three times so it's the same as three times the the component of the force on the C direction so 49.92 times 3 comes out to be 150 roughly the negative K direction so as you can see the three forces just set up and push down and the rest of the forces in the X and in the Y cancel out since the resultant force only has a C component the magnitude is 150 because there is no x and there's no uh, y so you don't have to do the whole thing and the angles but, uh, so is zero for the i and zero for the j cosine inverse of zero is 90 degrees cosine inverse of zero is 90 degrees and cosine inverse of the C component which is negative 150 divided by 150 is negative 1 so cosine inverse of negative 1 is positive 180 degrees that doesn't look like a 180 hold on it is positive 180 degrees so these are the direction angles so this is the final answer final answer for the first one now we're going to do the second one, which with all the values that we have is pretty easy. So we know that the resultant force is <clears throat> right here, negative 150k. They're trying to find, I'm sorry, pretend that the resultant force is negative 130k instead of 150. Right here, 130k. What would the forces be if the resultant force is negative 130k? Well, you know that any of the forces, let's take Fc for example, all the three forces are the same. So if we find Fc, we find all the forces. So you know that Fc can be found by multiplying the magnitude of Fc, which is what we're trying to find, the magnitude, times the univector from O to C, which we already found right here. This is the univector from O to C. But you know that all the x and y forces are going to cancel out. So this is going to be equal to x in the i plus y in the j, which we don't really care. And you know that it's going to have a negative 43.33 in the k. Where did this number come from? Simple. It's simply this number divided by 3. Negative 130 over 3 is 43.33 negative. Each force is attributing negative 43.33 in the C direction. So you know that this is going to be the C component of the force. And how did you find this value in this equation? You know that the magnitude Fc, which is what we're trying to find, times 0.832k is 43.33k. The 832 came from right here the C component of the force. So basically by dividing uh, 43.33 by negative 0.832 this is negative, the negative is inside the parentheses, this is times so 43.33 divided by negative 0.832 and this is negative 0.8 negative the negatives cancel out and you're gonna get that this is equal to 52.08 fc is equal to basically you pass this over here and this is the value of fc and you know that fc is equal to fb which is equal to fa which they're all equal to 52.08 final answer for the second part please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you